be it parking the motorcycle in front of them or switch talk, no trick would be fell for nowadays since walking one in as an option. Telling someone to board a motorbike having spent two months walking on foot during the lockdown is something not easy at all to convince. The COVID-19 pandemic, banning public means for about four months, is the basis for all this, resulting in a non-voluntary sporting activity done because there would be no other choice. Now the feet do all the work. Traveling by a motorbike is no longer necessary, since we learned that this can also be utilized as a chance to do sports, not necessarily find its own time, but do it as you head to work. It makes no sense spending 300 francs from Kadasonga to the stadium where I'm heading, yet you have some other things you might spend that money on. So we are now used to walking, whereby it's also about making the right timing and get where you want. Some say that the pandemic left them jobless with no money for transport, that some even decide to walk just for the sake of moving around. It is all due to lack of jobs and money. It is so hard to get money nowadays since travels to Nyamagabe and Congo are also still banned. Since the resumption of activities with motorists included to return on the road, no Rusizi taxi motorist has been able to maintain it on the road for at least a month. Business is no longer as it used to be, whereby someone at the end of the day goes home with only 2,000 rand and francs, yet the needs are also many. We really count this as a dead year. Basing on what motorists say, you might get to think that getting even a penny on the road might be the impossible. There was a place where every motorbike would wait for passengers and here bargaining was never part of the plan. Now it is also no more. Nowadays making 2,000 a day, you would be so lucky. It is now 8 a.m. and I haven't even made 500 francs, yet before by now I would have raised like 2,000. But currently we are facing a problem of lack of customers. Every motorcyclist who returned on the road was required to meet all the requirements so as to protect himself and the passengers against the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. Some motorists say that some customers hold a big role in their violation of the requirements as due to the fact that they badly need them. Taxi motorcycles in Rusizi district recently reopened on July 15, 2020 after some time into suspension due to the COVID-19 pandemic fight. The Rusizi District Motorcyclists Association is made up of six cooperatives with more than 1,750 members. Innocent Mogabo, RTV News.